a vegetarian. Michael Barrymore! It's as soon as And uh, Craig. Nice to meet you, Craig. And where are you two lads from? We're from Bristol. Bristol. Bristol lads. Bristol lads. Yeah. Hold right. the tone out tonight, lads. Yep, certainly. Have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Craig, you see that Michael Barron boy, Mike? I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do, Craig? Uh, I'm an interior designer. Really? Really? What do you do interior design? Um, pubs, clubs, yeah. stuff like that. What about you, Paul? I paint and decorate. So, uh, girlfriend? Married? Uh, well, girlfriends. girlfriends. Yeah. Not the same one. <laughs> I jumped in there, Quinn, and I got <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> oh, yes, as well, that's interesting. That. <laughs> I'm not sure quite why you reacted like that. that was... <laughs> Just being honest, aren't yeah, you, Yeah, I was indeed, yep. What, if you win the prize, you know, the holiday or anything like that, what are you going to do? Cos... Go wanna... on it. Go on it, yeah. <laughs> <Leave Yeah. them>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you going to take the girlfriends? Uh, probably you, I mean, not. you can't Jesus. split it four ways, can you? No, we'll probably probably do the honourable thing and just get ourselves really. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you all the best tonight. Thank Good luck you. to you, lads. Paul Brilliant. and Craig, Thank welcome. You. And then we'll get on with And what is, what is your name? Sumita. Sumita. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, no, Sumita. not. That huh? means Sumita. <laughs> oh, <it's, it's>, <laughs> No meaning to it. No mean. Yeah, no mean, no, no. Where are you from, Sumita? Thailand. Yeah. And <laughs> um, which part? Um, Nong Khai village. Nong Khai. Nong Khai village. Nong Khai village, Martin? Uh, up north, Michael. Thank God you didn't pull her. <laughs> Why down with it? All right, oh, I don't, don't know why. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> 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 it's in my life, I know. Sometimes village, eh? What's up? Nice. Nice. What's yeah. nice? Well, well, she can't be that short. What? I, I, What's happened? I, I say you nice man, tall, yeah. like yeah. tall man. I can see you like tall men, yes. Yeah. Very smart. Very smart, yeah. Yeah. I like tall anyway. Do I you? Like, yeah, I like yeah. toy, toy, ton, ton man. <laughs> ton, ton man. <laughs> Anybody? Any clues? <laughs> and what, did you, what do you do for work? Do you work? Yeah, I work. What, what, do, you, what do you do? Um, what? Oh, I practice. I cannot say no. What I say no. I in the side, I met in the Cam Wellington, Alaf Wellington. Vodka. Alaf uh, <laughs> Wellington. I don't know what they say. Um, side and mad now. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. How can I help you? I don't know what you're saying now. But... <laughs> What's going on here? Civil servant. Civil servant. You're a civil servant. No, no, no. Allah ever, but not Allah ever. What mean? What? What? How long have you been married? Sixteen years. Six, do you know what she's talking about? Oh, I haven't got a clue at times. <laughs> You English tell what, what I say. Are you understand? No, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, How do you travel to work? Every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I work every day. I go work every day. How, how do you go to work? A die car. Yes, right. How do you get there? Die car. Yes. But if, how did you find the way? Oh, I go every day, I, I know. If I go somewhere else, I lost. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know. Go, just to, go one way. Just, just go for what I, I stay there. Yeah. I go to work there. Yeah, but what? When I go somewhere else, I don't know where to go. You're finished. <laughs> finished, that's it. You I can't get there. She gets no. lost. I yes, get lost. lost. Yeah. yeah. She, she went to Nottingham and when she was coming back, she ended up in Mansfield when she was supposed to get back to London. <laughs> 
yeah. And she crashed the car as well. How did you crash the car? <laughs> and the pole, no move. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Min, hello, how are you? Yes, uh, yes, yes. I'd rather you just drive straight rather than. <laughs> Maybe that's why you went in the pole. You saw somebody, you went in the pole. I don't know what. Fuck, fuck, don't touch my pole! <laughs> Sandra. Nice to meet you. And Conrad. Well, and you two, you married, is it? Yes, yeah. we are. Yes. You are. Well, how long have you been married? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Kids? Yes, two kids. Conrad, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm in the Navy. Are you in the Navy? Yes, oh, well done. No uniform tonight? No uh, regulations, so I can't wear a uniform tonight. Who says that? The big man. The big man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me, Conrad. We've had, we've had people on with a uniform before. Well, this time he said no. Did you ask? Yes, of course. You lying shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you liar. We're not allowed to lie. What? What? He lied. He lied. <laughs> you attack him. <laughs> Have you visited, uh... Yes, I have, actually, yes. Where have you been? Do you know me? Been to... <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Do you know him? I don't know me. There's about 50 million of you, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> well, we might do. Do you know her? Yeah, you know me here. Yeah, we met you in school. I don't know. Whereabouts have you been? In, in, in I've been to uh, Thailand, Phuket. Phuket? Phuket. Phuket. What? Phuket. Oh, Phuket. Phuket. Oh, it's Phuket. pronounced Phuket. 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 Island. The island of Phuket. Phuket. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you went for your honeymoon? Yeah. Very nice. We went out one night, and um, this woman came out of the bar, and she shouted out, I want you now, and we, we looked behind us, and um, she dropped her dress, and she was going, I want you now, I can do things for you, and I go, no, no you're not. Nothing, it. <laughs> nothing. it was nothing. Really? And I was, I, I was what, what about her lot? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was gobsmacked, I like, me? I was trying to give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You, she saw you before. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, they remember you now. I didn't recognise you dressed. <laughs> oh, All right. You. <laughs> Thank you, Sasanja. Thank you, Well, let's get on with the show. Here we go. Get from one side to the other, the first couple to get across gets a chance to go onto a jackpot and win anything up to £10,000. Uh, you tossed a coin earlier on to decide who's going first, so if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give them a bit of encouragement <laughs> and we'll start. <laughs> Knots is the first category uh, for you, Craig. <laughs> Two, three, or four? Two, please. Uh, what is Gordon Brown's job? Chancellor. Chancellor is right. And what job does Hillary Clinton's husband hold? Uh, is he... <laughs> President of USA. That's right. Two moves are yours. <laughs> okay, I'll go. I'm rubbing your hands up, Paul. You get the first one free. Okay. Now, mix up in the screens or anything up to six hotspots. What is a hotspot not? <laughs> oh, Strike screen, Paul. Let's see what you got. Fridge freezer. Do you want to bank that or your rest of the on the next screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, over you go. Strike screen. A greenhouse. <laughs> Creatures is for you. You could have done with a green ass, couldn't you? You've grown a bit more. There we are. <laughs> two, three, or four? Uh, two, Michael. Please. All right. Which creature is which? In fantasy, this laid the golden egg. Uh, the goose. And uh, this creature apparently never forgets. An elephant, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, over you come, Sumita. First screen, three. Second screen. Fear. No, bang, <laughs> no, bang it with that hand. Bang that, that no, hand. No, no, not that. Uh, no, that's electric, love. Don't... <laughs> Just grabbed hold of the light bulb. <laughs> That one. Yeah, otherwise you could go like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. Oh, thank you. It's it. <laughs> She's not on this planet, she has. I've never said anybody laugh again, hot spot straight off, have <laughs> Oh dear, I'm going to take her own. Right. <laughs> partners. <laughs> Two, three, or four? Two. Uh, who partners Starsky in a top cop series? Hutch. Uh, who partnered Malcolm in a much loved comedy act? Why? Two moves of yours. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, a weekend in Jersey. Do you want to bang that? Move on, move on, move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Do it with that hand so oh, everybody can sit at home. There we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're a very kind race, aren't they? <laughs> Geography. Two, two, three, or four? Three, please. Three? Yeah. Please. What do we call a sand hill in a desert? A dune. What do we call a seasonal wind that brings heavy rain in the tropics? Uh. Monsoon? <laughs> eh? Monsoon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did have to do the sound effects as well. <laughs> <laughs> and what is another name for a formation of corals in the sea? A reef. That's it, three moves of yours. Okay. <laughs> All right. Paul, strike the screen. <laughs> Martin, Scott's in the news. Two, three, or four? Two, Michael, please. Two. Which Scott is Foreign Secretary in the government? Which... Robin Cook. Uh, which Scott was a pioneer of the steam engine? James Watt. Two moves of yours. Oh, yeah. Huh? Anyone? Yeah. Um. A canteen of cutlery. Oh, <laughs> move on, big guy. Big guy, move on. <laughs> a murder mystery weekend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Murder mystery weekend. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry, you'll, you'll be the victim. <laughs> I guarantee it, love. <laughs> Comrade, two, three, or four. Sport. Three. We'll go for three. three. All right. Now, what sport does Michael Jordan play? Michael Jordan. Basketball. What does Michael Atherton play? Michael Atherton. Cricket. And what does Pete Sampras play? Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please do yours. OK, there we go. <laughs> a set of luggage. You want to bank that? No, go on. Good on, good on. He's got a holder. He doesn't need that. <laughs> Water skiing course. You want to bank that? Sure, you're moving on. Go on. Move okay, on, on, move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Supper theatre trip and the Miss Alright, the next category is girls named Jane for you, Craig. Uh, two, three, or four? Two, please. Uh, which Jane is the heroine of a novel the, of the same name? Uh, Jane Austen. Jane Austen is wrong, I'm afraid. Oh. So, Martin, which Jane is the heroine of a novel of the same name? Jane Eyre. Uh, which Jane was a film star of the 1940s and 1950s? That's probably Russell. Two moves of yours. OK, <laughs> all right. OK. Touch screen, Samita. There we are. A gold bracelet. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. OK. Sweat screen. 
Two, three, or four? Two. In which game would you roll small glass balls? Marbles. And in which of these would you flick coloured disc into a cup? Tiddlywink. That's right, two and zero. The portable TV, you want to bank it? You're moving on. What are you going to do? Bank it. Okay, bank yeah, it. she wants to bank, bank it. She will bank, bank it. bank it? Okay, that's <laughs> time. That's you. Well done. Okay. Back to you, Craig. Bit of catching up to do. American cities. Uh, two, three, or four? Uh, three. Three. In which city is the White House? Uh, Washington. In which city is the Empire State Building? New York. And uh, Charles Lindbergh named his record breaking aircraft S the Spirit of after which city? St. Louis. St. Louis, right? Three moves yours. Okay. <laughs> okay, you got to catch up there, Paul. Here you go. Start the screen. CD player. player. Do you want to bank it? You're moving on. Move on. Sure. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Have you come? Straight the screen. A writing bureau, bureau and a CD player. You're moving on. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm sure you can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're level now. <laughs> Oceans and seas with you now, Martin. I'm going to have uh, to. Two or three. I'm going to have to go for three. Michael. All right then. Uh, where is the uh, Sargasso Sea? Pacific. N no. Where is the Sargasso Sea? The Indian Ocean. How long have you been in the Navy? <laughs> <laughs> well, they keep you down below. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Where's the Sargasso Sea, Craig? Uh, Atlantic. All right. And where is the Coral Sea? Pacific. Is that a guess? Yeah, semi. <laughs> well, well done. And where is the Weddell Sea? W E D D E L L. I would say the Antarctic. Would you? You'd mm. be right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Touch screen. Let's see what you got. Three hundred pound. You want to bank it? You're moving on. What are you going to do? Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay. Strike the screen. Let's see what you got. A holiday Sri Lanka. Three hundred pound. All right. Now you two got to decide whether you want to bank those prizes or answer the main strike it rich question. We'll find out what the two lads are going to do in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs> Excited. They ask, like, uh, are you the driver? Are you the designer? Are you the owner? So, no, nope. I'm the safety guy. I picked up the parachute after the run. They look at a little disappointed and go, oh, that's, uh, that's pretty, um, great. And I say, nope, but the drive home is. with your Boots Advantage card this Christmas and everyone can have a treat, especially you. Fragrance. 
determined to catch that rabbit. Give me our best batteries. We've got these here. <laughs> Give me Duracell. That evens things up a bit. Because Duracell lasts longer. Strike it rich. The situation we've got is Samita and Martin are in the middle here with six moves across, and Sandra and Conroy at seven moves across down the bottom there. Now we've got uh, Paul and Craig here. Three hundred pound holiday in Sri Lanka. You bank it; it's safe, or you can answer the question, take a chance of losing it if you get it wrong. Um, we go for it. We've got to go for the question. All right. Very best of luck. Here you come. Okay. Ask you this question. You can confer as loud as you like. And then I'll ask you the question again, and I must have an answer. How did Katrina and the waves strike it rich for the United Kingdom in May 1997? Well, the Eurovision Song Contest. Is that your answer? Yep. Yeah. You're right on to tonight's final. That's it. Down and uh, Sandra, you're going to take away with you tonight a set of luggage, a water skiing course, mm -hmm. a supper and theatre trip, and the television. Okay, you had yeah, a nice evening with us. Thanks, Sandra. And Martin and Samita, you've won a canteen of cutlery and the murder mystery weekend, and you've been great, wonderful. I can't thank you enough. I enjoy too. Well, we really enjoyed you as well. There we are. <laughs> And uh, Craig and Paul, you've already won a fridge freezer, a greenhouse, £300, a holiday in Sri Lanka, a chance now to win anything up to £10,000. Let's give them a nice round of applause, everybody. Let's go and play the jackpot. There we go. Right. Here we go. Now, here's how we play the end game. You play the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten questions, ten arrows and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. For a correct answer, you'll get another move. Go for our top money tonight, £10,000, no more than two hotspots, 7000 no more than three, and for 5000 no more than four. If you go for our top money, but you fail to get right the way across, we'll give you £500 for every successful move you make. 350 for the 7,000 and 250 for the 5. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. Right, so that's it, they've gone, your prizes are safe, so what do you want to do? 5, 7 or 10,000 pounds? What do you think they should do? What do you think? They're going to go for the 10, all right? Yeah. That's all right. Okay. Just stand there, Paul. Okay. Just try to friend, okay? All right. For your first 500, is it the top, the middle or the bottom? Where do you want to go? Top, the middle or the bottom? Top middle or bottom? Where do you want to go? Top middle or bottom? Bottom. Down the bottom for the thousand pound. Oh, it's a question. Okay, Mulligatawny is a breed of owl found in the Lake District. Is that true or false? That's a false. 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 It's a soup. That's right. The thousand pound. Here we come. Okay. For one thousand five hundred pound, the top, the middle, or the bottom? Where do you want to go? The top, the middle, or the bottom. Top, 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 top for fifteen hundred pounds. Oh. To a thousand, you use one of your hotspots over your come. We're on our next move here. Okay, top, middle, or bottom for 1500 again. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Now the bottom for 1500. Yeah, okay, for 2000 pounds, just coming up to the halfway mark. Yeah. Top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Top, 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 up the top. Ooh. Question. Okay, the first scientist to suggest that the Earth travels around the Sun was Sir Isaac Newton. Is that true or false? It's false. false. That's right, it was Copernicus in 1543. Okay, that's 2,000 you've got there. All right, you've only used one hot spot, the halfway mark. We now go to 2,500. Top, middle, or bottom? Where do you want to go? Middle. In the middle for 2,500. Oh, that's another question. All right, the numbat is an animal that lives in Australia. Is that true or false? True. 2,500? Yeah. Well, yeah. OK, 3,000 pounds, the top, the middle or the bottom? Where are you going? Bottom. Down the bottom for 3,000. Oh. OK, you're back to 3,000, three screens to go. No more hot spots, and if a question comes up, you've got to get it right. So this time, top, middle or bottom? Bottom, bottom. bottom. Want to go down the bottom for 
Gary Thompson. Yeah! Okay, okay two screens to go. 3,500 on this one. The top, the middle, or the bottom. You can't have a heart. Bottom. Going down the bottom. Going down there again. Yeah. They want to go down the bottom again. Come on. Yeah! It. Here we are, you managed to get right the way across, you've used your two hot spots. We've jumped from 3,500 to 10,000 pounds. It's one of three. Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? You've got to get it right. Middle. Yeah, just right. Middle. 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 In the middle, we don't want a hot spot. Come on. Yeah. Money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's tell you what you're taking away with you tonight, Paul and Craig. You won a fridge freezer, a greenhouse, a holiday in Sri Lanka, plus the money you won earlier, plus the jackpot, £10,300 as well. And uh, that's ta -da to the girlfriends, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I say good night in many, many ways, but this time I say it very simply. Good night, God bless, bye. Bye. Thank you. Michael Barrymore will be back at the same time at 7 o'clock next week. Coming up next, Coronation Street. A movie premiere for Christmas Day. In the holiday rush, guess who's ended up in the wrong city? My family's in Florida. I'm in New York. I'm confused. Reservation from McAllister? And so it seems a Harry and Marv. You'd think they'd know better by now. A movie premiere, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Don't you know a kid always wins against two idiots? Christmas Day at 7.30 on Yorkshire. Excuse me, think a disposable razor shaves as comfortably as his Gillette Sensor XL? Yeah. Well, try Sensor XL. It'll change your mind. After one shave with Sensor XL, we bet you don't go back. Because only Sensor XL has protective microfins for extra comfort. Whoa. And self-adjusting blades for extra closeness. Mm. Disposables don't. And Sensor XL gives more shaves per blade than any disposable. Excuse me. Take the Sensor XL challenge. Bet you don't go back to disposables. Hey, I want my Sensor XL back. Hey! The great New Year bid and bargain clearance at DC Cook starts Boxing Day with thousands of cars to clear, with prices from as little as 1499. But the best thing is, make us a bid. Any reasonable offer will be considered. We have flexible finance plans available, including no deposit, nothing to repay till Easter 98, or take cash back. Come to the great New Year bid and bargain clearance at DC Cook. It starts Boxing Day, and remember, any reasonable offer will be considered. Just look for the DC Cook sign. It's worth the trip, and that's a promise. I'm getting traces of blossom and buttercups. A faint twang of heather on a warm breeze, and it's all... With new Gentle Breeze Bounce in your dryer, mm. you get the freshness of drying outside, inside. Gentle Breeze, the delicate new fragrance from Bounce. And there's a whiff of hollyhocks waiting to whoosh up your nose. So you were sick last week, were you? Apparently, you felt terrible. I had the flu. But when David spoke to you on Friday afternoon, you seemed all right. I was beginning to feel better. You said you had the flu. We're talking temperature, aches, shivers, headaches. Yet you were able to pick your way through the finer points of Far Eastern futures. I'd love to hear your explanation. Lemsip max strength. Next time you're ill, you try it. Lemsip max strength. Hard-working medicine. 
Let's aim for the Krispies. Ready. <laughs> Slip them some fun <laughs> with Kellogg's Rice Krispies. <laughs> Determined to stop, mm -hmm. nicotine gum at two pounds forty-five. Mm -hmm. No tasty way to beat the craving. It needn't be hell with nicotine L. Julia. <laughs> Anna. Uh uh. Lisa. Your hands. Christine. Say a lot about you. Martha. Newer Trixo regenerating treatment for hands that don't give you away. A trail of turkeys leads to Santa's grotto. Well, I thought Santa was supposed to deliver stuff, not nick it. Well, it's Christmas. We want everyone to have turkeys. Yeah. Where's the arm in that? It's against the law and I'm arresting you for theft. Everyone on stage for the opening number! Enter the villain. Get him out. He's quite sad. Not you. All right, just calm down. There's no problem. No. You do what I say and you don't get hurt. I want Deakin. The Bill Christmas Special, tonight at 8 on Yorkshire. It's Terry the Turkey's last stand now in Coronation Street. Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Roses.